Hey, how's it going? This is Dylan with Dylan Pickups and Dylan Talks Tone, and today I want to talk to you about how to make your tremolo on your Stratocaster float. Most people set them up to be kind of locked down to the body, which means that you can only flatten your note using your vibrato bar instead of actually using it as a true, true vibrato and getting those like Jeff Beck kind of warbly kind of stuff, right? So it is a real easy thing to do. It's not that difficult. Um, and it's basically kind of the same concept that you use with when you set up a Floyd Rose, uh, a Floyd Rose style tremolo. So let's talk about how to do it. Um, basically, uh, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our supplies together. And really all you need is uh, your screwdriver and a stack of business cards. I use my wife's music and mascara business cards. And uh, or um, also post-it notes if you've got a post-it note pack laying around. So the very first thing what I would do is flip the guitar over and use the, the claw screws there to tighten down the tremolo to where it is flat against the body but parallel with it, okay? And what I mean by that is um, the the tremolo is going to need to be able to move, right? Like the front screws can't be completely locked down. Um, and with a good setup of the guitar, that actually the tremolo sits up off the body just a touch, okay? It sits uh, maybe just a, a millimeter or so off the body when it's set up properly. So we don't want it sucked all the way down to where the back of the tremolo is in a downward position. We want it kind of parallel. So what you're going to do to do that is tighten those screws down and take a business card and put it underneath here so that it kind of holds it flat. Okay, so we want that we want that to be parallel with the body. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a tuner, throw it on our on our peg head over there, and we're going to tune this G string to pitch. We don't need to tune all the strings to pitch, just uh, just the G. Probably move just a little bit from where we originally had it, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take another stack of business cards, and I don't know how many that is. That can vary. And we're going to put it underneath the tremolo. We're going to bend the tremolo up this way, okay? And we're going to do it enough to where we can get this G to flatten down to an E. There's F, so I need to go a little more. One more. Probably post the notes would work a little better because you could fine tune it. Let's get another one sticking underneath there. Yeah, use post-it notes. They're a little thinner and they're a little, a little more tunable. All right, so now I've got us to an acceptable E on the G string. Okay, so now um, let's go ahead. Now that we've got that there, now we're going to actually tune the guitar to normal pitch. So start with your low. Start start with your low E. And get this as close as you can. All right, so now we are tuned to pitch. The guitar is tuned to pitch with these business cards underneath here. Now we just pull those out and watch what happens. Now the guitar is completely sharp and doesn't make any sense at all. So now what we're going to do we're going to flip the guitar over and we're going to use our tremolo screws and we're going to loosen those. I would use this other screwdriver and I would loosen these kind of equally as we come out, okay? And tune the guitar to proper pitch 
Don't use the tuners on the guitar, use the claw screws because we're lessening the tension. The guitar has popped sharp, so now we're flattening it back. And what I typically do is I loosen them equally, and as they come out, I tighten, I tune the guitar to, you know, normal pitch like we are. Um, and what I do when I get it close is I check the low E and the high E to make sure that I've kind of done it equally across, okay? All right. So there it is. So now we're tuned to pitch using the claw screws. And now what we have, if we look closely at the bridge, we have a bridge that is now floated. Okay, so now we should have a step and a half on the G, a full step on the B, and a half step on the E. So now we have something that we can do warbles with because it's a floating tremolo. I don't have my tremolo arm. I never did tighten that little screw in there, so it's a little loose, but. Okay, and that should be. And as long as there's no friction points anywhere, you should be able to. be relatively in tune and it should be stable and it will float right there and there you go so just to quickly review the steps what we would do is we would use the tremolo screw the tremolo claw screws to tighten the bridge uh, down to be completely parallel with the body typically I use a business card or a stack of post-it notes to keep it there okay to kind of lock it down to the body, parallel with the body. Uh, tune the G string to G, and then use the tremolo to lower the pitch of that G string down to an E and hold a stack of business cards or post-it notes to keep that G down to an E. Tune the rest of the guitar to proper pitch pull the business cards out, it pops sharp, retune the guitar to pitch with these, and you have a full, uh, a half a step at the E, a full step at the B, and a step and a half at the G. And there you go. You have a floating tremolo on your strap. If you want to talk to us more or have any more questions about how to do this, Please let me know. Please follow our channel at Dylan Pickups on YouTube. And if also, if you have any questions about how to keep one of these things in tune in general, we'll do a whole nother video on things that you got to watch on a strat, on a two post style strat and a six screw strat to keep the thing in tune and you'll never have an issue be able to use the thing all the time. My name is Dylan. This has been Dylan Talks Tone and this is how to float a tremolo on a strat. Have a great day.